بسم الله الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله Chapter 5.2 to 7 C Help Notes for Nahmud and Hayward A New Arabic Grammar The Sound Masculine Plural and an Idafa In this video we're going to cover what happens to the sound masculine plural when it is in an Idafa Let's take an example sentence هذه قرية This is a village So there are the Houses in this small village. Hum khayyatun. These are tailors. They live in this village. As you can see, the word khayyat is a sound masculine plural. How can you tell? Well, it's got the characteristic pattern of the final letter of the original word khayyat, which has a dhamma, then it's followed by wa with a noon. Wal with a sukun and a noon with a fatha. That's the typical pattern. And you can also further tell that this word has to be marfu'. We know it's marfu' for two reasons. The first reason, which is the original reason. <coughs> the original reason is that the word uh, is the khabar of this simple sentence. And the khabar is always marfu'. Another way of working out it's actually marfu' is because it's the sound masculine plural. And the sound masculine plural, when it's marfu, has a wall. Hum khayyatuna min al qariyati. They are tailors from the village. So here we have khayyatun min al qariya, a relationship between two nouns which are connected by a harf jar min. And we know, as we've done in the idafa lesson, that whenever we have min connecting two nouns, you can replace that by just an idafa. So let's do that. Let's just delete the min and we get hum khayyatun al qarya. <coughs> Here, I put the no noon in brown because though this sounds pretty nice, uh, it's not quite correct. What we need to also do is we need to drop the noon. Just like we dropped the noon in the muthanna when it was in an idafa. Hum khayyatul qariya. When you read it quickly, you do not prolong this vowel. Hum khayyatul qariya. <coughs> Let's take the sound masculine plural in the mansub case, where instead of khayyatun, we have khayyatin. The reason it's got a ya is because this word is mansub. The reason this word is mansub is because it's the maf'ulun bihi. Of Ra'aytu. What did I see? I saw the tailors, Min al Qarya, who are from the village. So, what we'll do, again, we have two nouns, Khayyatin and Al Qarya, connected by a harf jar. So, we can delete that harf jar and join these two in an idafa. If we just deleted the Min, we would get Khayyatin al Qarya, but again, the noon I've colored in brown because it really shouldn't belong there. Ra'aytu Khayyati. Al Qarya. Again, the ya has got a sukun, <coughs> and the lam has a sukun, and it's difficult for you to say these two words together. So we just vowelize the ya when we're reading it. Ra'aytu khayyati al Qarya. I saw the tailors of the village. So it's a very short video, just to remind us that when we have the jam mudakkar salim occurring as the mudaf in an idafa then <coughs> one of the rules is that it loses its noon just like the dual wa akhiru da'wana an alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin